So this is a continuation of our creating charts in .xlsx files with Python using Google CodeLab series. Um, in the series we kind of go over some of the common charts that you can find in .xlsx files um, and how to create them using uh, Python and Google CodeLab. Um, I have previous videos on creating column charts, pie charts, and in this video the subject will be focusing on creating line charts. So let's jump into uh, our Jupyter Notebook and Google Colab and um, the code for this video will be in the description below. Uh, let's, let's jump to Google Colab now and look at that. So in this video we're looking at line charts. Um, we're going to use the US unemployment rate um, retrieved using the pandas data library, sorry pandas data reader Python library. Um, so it's a good example of a time series uh, chart in Excel. I'm just going to use a little trick to convert um, Python dates into Excel dates. Um, so they're read as dates by um, XLSX files. Um, so, similarly to uh, two previous videos I did, uh, I'm going to use the pandas data frame to Excel method and uh, pandas Excel rail. So uh, this is a pretty detailed example. I'm just going to run you through a few things before I actually run it. Um, so uh, again, I, I just leave pip install xlsx rail in there. Um, if you're in the same session where you ran a previous example, it's already in there, um, but if you've had like a runtime disconnect, you you'd probably want to leave this line in there uh, in Google Colab. Um, here I'm making a uh, start date time. Um, this is for my series down here. Um, so um, the data reader uh, function takes a couple, like a few arguments and one of them is the start and end, and I've set these using uh, date time objects uh, up here. Uh, then I, in that same data frame, and I'll show you um, this in, in a second, um, I create a uh, XLSX date column, um, which is, uh, so, so in the data reader, um, data frame that comes out of the pandas data reader, your index is the date, and so I'll subtract from the Python date uh, the, the, that number, um, so this is the starting reference of an Excel date. Uh, so this in turn will make this column a date uh, in Excel. So let me run this and uh, also, I've, I've done a little print of the first five uh, rows of the data frame. And uh, we'll also be outputting what we're doing in, uh, in, with uh, pandas.xlwriter. So yeah, here, here you'll see, this is, this is the XLSX date, which is 36,525 days since uh, the 31st of December, 1899. Um, oh, something I need to do. Import pandas as PD. So, um, good thing about the trace back here is it's let me know exactly where I've gone wrong. PD is not defined in this session. So let's go take a look at 
the uh, unemployment rate line chart, uh, XLSX file, and XL Libra. With the uh, .xlsx file open in Excel Libra again, for best results, you probably want to open this with uh, Microsoft Excel um, or Excel Libra and uh, Google Sheets. Um, may not perform quite as well um, depending on what you're doing with the Excel output. This is absolutely fine in Excel Libra, but anyway, um, so the main thing we did that was a little unconventional was we create uh, an Excel date which we see here in our Excel file so we didn't really care too much about the date um, we cared about the month Jan and the year 2000 and you can see on our uh, x-axis on the uh, line chart that we, ha we have it referenced as Jan 00, Jan 04, Jan 08 and so on um, we just taken the automatic settings that Excel has given us in this graph. Um, you can do more with it. Uh, that's a bit more of an advanced thing to be doing uh, with um, um, Excel outputs in um, Python. But uh, for this basic example, we just took the name which we set up here the, in the add series um, function. We just said name is uh, unemployment rate. Uh, values are from A2 to A um, and here we use the length of the data frame so this goes to um, wherever the data frame ends which is very convenient and we do that again in the categories so this is good if you were updating this perhaps in the future you wouldn't have to do too much here, you have to update the year, but you could automate that in another way. Um, so yeah, if you were updating this on a regular basis, maybe you could change the year or the month here, um, set some kind of, make some kind of an object um, to make the year equal whatever today's day is, um, or some such, and that could be put in here. I didn't do that in this example, but you could do that. Um, yeah, again, so we at, when we add the chart, we set the type and it was line. Um, and we insert the last step was to insert the chart at a location. Um, and in, in this one, the reference was D2, so you see it's inserted at D2. Um, so that's about it um, for this example um, of line chart. Um, as we go further in, um, next we'll be looking at scatter charts in a subsequent video. So uh, again, thanks for watching this video on line charts um, created using uh, Python and outputting them in .xlsx files.